This week on the show, we're featuring Celestite, Four Jokes, Chocolate Opal Under the Microscope Cam, Chocolate Pie on Why I Buy That. And if you found this show, you're a true gem. Scientists have shown that birds build great nests because they study their algebra. Let's start the show. Technically difficulties, technical difficulties. Hello. Hey, Jamie made it. And Jeanette Korzenko. You guys are awesome. Um, eating cookies. One down, two to go. How you doing? This piece of Celestite is really, really soft. It's a lot softer than I thought it'd be. But it's really cool stuff. I like it. It's neat. And I got a new camera angle, so let's try that out. You guys can tell me what you think. Do you prefer the side view or the top down? Because this is actually more like how I see it. Gotta wet it down there. Otherwise it throws a bunch of dust when I start it up. It's nice to get a little water on there first. This is satisfying. Thank you. What's satisfying? Me? I want to be satisfying. That's my goal in life. These cookies are satisfying. Man, are they soft. They're dry, but soft. 
You could eat them without teeth. Oh yeah, Jeanette. I'm excited about that. Honest got a faceter. I'm excited to see him use it because that's one of those. Um, they're the <clears throat> they're the cheaper faceter. Uh, some of the higher end faceters are about three thousand to five thousand dollars, and that one's actually just under three hundred. But there's a couple things about it, like it doesn't have a stop. So, like, when you go down, it doesn't have a stop, so you got to be careful. <clears throat> That's one of the things about mine. It's got a stop. So you stop, switch it, stop, switch it, stop. It's faster that way. And I saw people modify his version. But I think he's getting into it without actually using that. I saw him have a problem with it earlier. He's like, and I went too far. And I went too far again. That's all right. We're going all the way around. I know what he's talking about. Because even with a stop on mine, we're going all the way up the mast and down the arm. If I push on it a little bit, I can, I can bend that whole assembly, even though it's hard. Yeah, he's going to do a brilliant cut. I'm not sure about that brilliant cut. <laughs> I... I love the guy, but he's, his stone is so included. There ain't going to be no brilliance in there. There really ain't no point in fastening that stuff. But uh, I don't want to say anything because there is a point in fastening it. He's learning. He's learning a lot. And he's doing a great job. And, I, I mean, it all it's all textbook stuff, and he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. But it's simple stuff like, oh, yeah. You gotta glue the stone on the dop the night before. And, uh, so anyway, that, that that's kind of a thing. Grid it! Grid, put it on the grid. Oh, I do! 710, we will put it on the grid that is on the microscope cam. <coughs> Which, actually, he has a microscope cam, too. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a thing. This cookie is so soft. It's a soft cookie. Um. Oh yeah, we split this in half, so there's actually two pieces to this stone. And I only shaped the one of them. Not sure about the other one. Probably going to shape it into a matching piece. Mm -hmm. Ah. The cookie is too soft. Falling apart on me. Falling apart. Just like my show. <laughs> oh no, we're almost done with the stone. Well, that would be a thing. <clears throat> so, we got 12 minutes to do the show, people. How are you doing? I am. I got stuff in my teeth. Earrings could be. Mm-hmm always a good thing to match uh let's see what other things can you match um you could put little toe rings anklets you could make uh yeah for people who got two belly buttons two belly button rings you could put uh hmm you know what i've always wanted to do is mount something in my key my car key I'm like, let's cut a roto light and mount it in there. You know, something like that. Cool, I have a gemstone in my car key. I've also wanted... I was thinking about using a crystal point as a, as a car key. So, in electronics, they pump electricity into a crystal, and out the other side, you get a frequency according to where you tag the crystal. It works like a filter. So here's the idea. I'll take and I'll make a, a mold socket for the crystal, and then I'll put two wires inside of it, and then I'll record what, 
frequency it filters to. And then I'll put that in an oscillator system that controls a relay to turn the car on. So then, all I have to do is mount that socket in my dashboard. And then, when I go to turn on my car, I'll just take this weird... What one are we going to use? Probably a piece of tourmaline and stick it in the dashboard and it'll start my car. That'd be fun, and it'd be a lot of work. And I'd probably lose the crystal or at least chip it in my pocket and then my car wouldn't start. And it would be at the worst time. <clears throat> I'd be like, oh crap, we gotta go to the hospital. And then it wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. Like wood. Because wood doesn't work. I have to do the work. I have to work the wood. I enjoy woodwork. If it's my wood. Wait, where are we going with that? Alright. Microscope cam. Time for the show. This is so soft. This stuff is so soft. So soft. <clears throat> huh. I'm trying, I'm, I'm late for the show, right? Very late for the show, probably like two weeks, and I was like three weeks late anyway. Them two belly button people are kind of sexy. Oh yeah, on the microscope cam, opals. Excuse me, that's part of the show. We are supposed to actually show a piece of opal. Desktop over the rainbow. Boom. Boom. Joke intro. Camara. Colette made it. All right. Me too. That would work. A nip ring. They're 710 nose. A nip ring. Yeah, because you need two of them. Unless y you have a surplus nipple. Then you need three. So maybe I'll shape three of them. Alrighty. Remember when we were having trouble with the cameras? Microscope cam kept shutting down and my camera was all like bugging out and stuff. So anyway, it's got a lot of like smoky inclusions in it. But it's still, it's got a decent clarity. And so if you notice when I turn it to the side far enough, you, it, it goes darker. You kind of Kind of see through. Well, I guess when it's upside down, you can see through it. That's a good example. Hey, you can see right through it. But I got the the way I got the back angled on it. It bounces the light around to get more of an evenness of the color, which basically having uh, honest gas facet that stone that he's faceting is is a good way to spread the color around in a heavily included piece. All right, slippery fingers, slippery fingers. Boomp. And that's it. It's so soft, it was very easy to work with. I like it. Let's see if we can zoom in on it a little bit better. Focus camera. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Now we're talking. It's so frustratingly soft. But it made for a nice gem. It's a nice color. So um, here's a, an example of a rough piece of it. I think this has a little bit more blue than the, the piece I'm, I was working with. <clears throat> so that's showing a lot more blue under the camera. I'm actually looking at getting maybe like a second webcam to show you guys stuff like this. So that there's more room, you can see it a little better, and you can see the color a little more clearly. I mean, we are zoomed in way too close for comfort on these things. And it's nice to get up there and see them, but at the same time, it's nice to actually see them, like in real life-ish. All right, I wish I could find a good example 
of a crystal top to show you. Should have been ready for the show, Jake Bud. Should have been ready for the show. Okay, this this is kind of a worn down crystal point. See, it's got the lines for the growth. And then the top of it is a little tilty on one side and sharp on the other side, kind of like a topaz. And then it's got those lines there. So that kind of shows how the crystal is shaped. It's not the best example of a, a crystal. It kind of looks a little like quartz, kind of looks a little like topaz. And it is strontium sulfate, which is used to make fireworks. Do you ever polish them? Nipples? Rings? Sometimes. Uh, I bought a bag of opal parcels. I've been thinks about Dremel them suckers. Between it and quartz. The difference between uh, barite and quartz, the celestite. Um, so the celestite's a soft stone, which is anything under five and a half. And five and a half is uh, the hardness of steel. Your fingernails are about four and a half. This is about four. So it's about as hard as a fingernail. And carrying one around in my pocket with my other stones, my other gemstones, I carry a few in my pocket, you know, just ones that I'm working on. They don't really scuff up too much on the outside. And they get, I mean, I'm holding things and working up against them and stuff like that. <clears throat> but the barite in my pocket, it wound up getting like white edges. <clears throat> white edges on it cookie burp see how it's all dented and chipped and it's got like these edge chips on it yeah that was smooth you could see down in it a little bit but it's so soft so how am I supposed to carry it around you know it gets damaged too easily this is the first piece I cut but it's got that big crack in it so I decided not to make it a feature at least not yet anyways might feature it it's a neat piece i mean it's a fun big about the size of gems that you know that i like this guy's a little smaller i put it in the container with a piece of citrine bling 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 kind of looks like a nipple ring doesn't it or a belly button ring stop talking about boobies yeah i, I like it you know, like to see me dance with that on my belly. You know, just... I got the drawstring. I won't do that anymore. Um, so, we showed those. Let's show the chocolate opal. We've been talking about opal. And talking about opal and hyping it up and telling you guys, Opal this, opal that. Op. Did I forget the opal? Where did I put the opal? There it is. Found it. So, working on the opal. <clears throat> Come in for a few and say hi. Welcome, Sir Bones. What's your favorite gemstone? Polish your gems with a diamond compound, not your nipples. They are diamond compounds. You know, it's not a diamond compound. Actually, I do use a diamond compound. And a little bit of side note in case Honest Gas picks this up. I tried the cheap, like, $30 diamond compound where you get, like, 10 thingers. It'll get you by, but you're going to lose out on the labor hours by a long shot. And you'll it's like one of those things where, you, like, if you buy toilet cleaner with half the in active ingredient in it, you got to use twice as much toilet cleaner. So you're using twice as much paste anyway. I spent 60 bucks. I got the good paste. There's only like four things. So I actually wound up spending like 120 bucks to get eight things. But uh, it was worth it. it. That stuff cuts. It polishes. It does a great finish job. Which reminds me. This opal. Soured. So soured. I drop it at... And you'll see that when I show the video. I drop it. This little area here that you see is where the red fire opal was coming from. 
and it cracked out right on that plane. So the red cleavings are gone. That's how opal works. I can still see a lot of blues in there. Which is why I'm afraid to facet it. Because if I facet it, see how it's thin on this point over here? That means I'm going to be cutting out a lot of this backside here. Or a lot of this top side up here. To try and facet this into a, a nice little triangle. I think it'll turn out to be a nice piece if I facet it. But I'm afraid of losing those blues. I got the blue losing blues. Yeah. So that has me a little shied away. I was like, all right, we're going to facet it. And then I started seeing those red flares, and I was like, well, maybe we'll do some red flares. Let's grind it down a little more. Here's the chip that came off of it. Nice beer bottle colored chip. It would fast it up nice. But if I could... I mean, I almost... I, I wish... Like, if I could go back... This... Little chiply thing that I cut off, or... Dropped, and then it came off. I would leave that... And make it into a cabochon. Because see, having that little crack in there, that's where the... The Schiller effects of the opaliness happen. That's how opal works, is there's little diatomes that live inside of it and create little Schiller cracks. And that's what makes opal opal. And then you try and bring those cracks just to the surface without going through them. And that's what makes it hard to work with. But it came off of there. It's off of it. So what are we going to do? I mean, it's like a piece of brown, natural brown glass now. It's got those blues in it, so we'll do something about the opal blues. The chocolate opal blues. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um... Pocket pool. Oh man, pool pool tables have pockets too, don't they? So I mean, technically, every game of pool is pocket pool. Do I have like another video that I could show you about Celestite? How about I just show you the first one? Mm -hmm. It's Celestite video, and it's still the new camera. Hey, what do you think of the new camera angle? Is it all right? You guys like the new camera angle? All right, so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to show you this atrocimacy with this chocolate opal to get a view of it under the microscope cam and see if I'm going to facet it or not. It looks to me like the blues are not all purely in this area here, which is what I'm going to cut off next. When you see this next, it's going to be a little more like that. We're going to cut that off with a saw or probably grind it off so we don't put more cracks in the rest of it. I don't know. Because originally we were supposed to bring out those starry blues. And we haven't lost them yet. We'll see on the next episode of How's That Chocolate Opal Microscope Do- or, No, How's That Chocolate Opal Whatever Doing Under the Microscope Cam. Little uh, extra treat here for you guys. A piece of chrome diopside. This piece of chrome diopside brought to you by the time that you have to spend here at this channel. That's another thing about this microscope cam is that I don't have the light underneath. I mean, you, you can see the green a little bit, but come on, show me the real green. I want to see the green, baby. There's some clarity in here. Boom, like a big piece of kryptonite. Yeah. Like cash money dollars. This is the Jolly Rancher stuff that I want to eat. Jamie needs some of this stuff, but then again, she would eat it too. You're like, what happened to all your teeth? The gems look tasty. Okay, so a uh, couple jokes, and then we're done with everything, and we can send you on your way.
just after the joke portion of the program. Cam looks good to me. Thank you. Heading off to another live. Thank you, Sir Bones. Cheers. Glad you were able to make it by. Good luck. Well, I need that. And especially I need that because it's the joke portion of the program. I don't have a lot copied down, but I do have a couple. Let's see, every time I hear things like Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, I'm like, which, which one did he mail it to? Like, did he address it Mr. and Mrs. Thessalonian? Let's see, scientists have shown that birds build great nests because they study their algebra. And fish swim to the riverbank to cache their fins. I think I've been carrying extra keys around just because it's sort of a workout. You know, I have extra keys on my key ring, and I don't get rid of them. And I think I just carry them around so that the extra weight burns off some extra calories, and I can eat an extra donut now and then. I think I'll carry an extra key. I like donuts. I've found out that the chainsaw is the manliest tool because it always goes bra. I don't I don't like that one. We're going to we're going to unbold that joke. <clears throat> Do people who speak sign language ever have speech impediments? I got to come up with some examples of that that are, aren't mean and highlight the greatness of uh, sign language, but I thought that was a start. You know, when I use the bathroom, I like to use all three different scented hand soaps so it smells like fruit punch. A little bit of a, you know, life bathroom hack. It's kind of like, uh, you know, with those sinks that have the electronic eye, and I put my hand near it, and it's off. I pull my hand away, it turns on. I put my hand near it, it turns off. It's like my wife. You know, the trick is, use two of them. One hand under each sink, twice as much water, twice as much washing it off. That's, you know, one of those things that not a lot of people know. Kind of like how a lot of people think that the lower urinal is for shorter men, but it's actually for longer men. Bathroom tips. And you'll find them here on the joke portion. Oh, wait, I forgot about the other one. Okay, so um, Medicare refused to pay for my Dr. Pepper. I was supposed to do this one first. And then I can segue into the bat. Yeah, I kind of did that one. All right, that's the joke portion of the program. That's we, We're figuring it out, trying it fresh, bringing it to you just as it is. We'll, we'll learn and grow from that. Because, like, I'm learning all the time. I'm learning that Medicare refused to pay for my Dr. Pepper. Now I have to drink community health clinic pepper. It still has 23 flavors, but they're flavors like tongue depressor, an erroneous billing statement. And somebody told me that I should drink Holistic Healer Pepper because it still has 23 flavors, but they're flavors like kale and hot yoga. So I've been trying to be more healthy, you know, like sanitary. So when I go to the bathroom, I use all three different scented hand soaps so it smells like fruit punch. And that's when I kind of segue into that because it is the joke portion of the program. Where we tell jokes for a portion of the program. Let's roll a little gem footage. I'm going to tell you why I buy chocolate pie. Why did I buy the chocolate pie? Move the video that way a little bit. See if that helps out. Chocolate pie. I like chocolate pie. Okay, so the reason that I bought chocolate pie is because I can... It's it's because I can get more chocolate faster. Like, you know, a spoonful of chocolate pie in the mouth. It, it It's a higher rate of chocolate in the jakeness. And it also has like a cookie underneath it. It's like a graham cracker crust, but it's like a chocolate graham cracker crust. And they have a few different chocolate pies. I mean, if you notice, there's one that's um, it's kind of towards the top of the shelf on the side. It's a white box. It's got white cream in it. It's a chocolate cream pie. 
You go down, you can see the one that's got the white cream on top and then the chocolate in the middle. And then there's another chocolate one that's a chocolate turtle pie. I think it's behind those towels there. I didn't even notice the towels there. I didn't realize they were there. I was focusing on the pie section. And I get to the pie section, you know, and I'm like, okay, I know somewhere in the desserty freezer aisle section there's going to be pies. And I get to the pies, and what I do when I got to the pies, because I was like, want a chocolate pie. Want that? Going to go see what they got. And so I got there, and what I did is I narrowed it down. I'm like, okay, how many doors do we have? How many doors worth of pie? Three doors. The pies are three doors down. We got the ones in the base of the one door, not interested in those pies, moving on to the middle door. That's where the bulk of the pie is. The other side, they got pumpkin, they got some oddballs down in the corner, they got the, the single slices and stuff, they got something to do with fruit, which tells me they're going to A, charge for it, and B, it's fruit. It's not the same as straight up pie, but I, I do love some fruit. But what do you want, fruit or candy? So I'm like, hmm, where's the chocolate at? So I checked just the middle door, found the whole assortment of available chocolate pies, decided I would take the chocolatiest looking pie. Even though I do like that Oreo looking cream pie up there, that looks pretty good. And I want to say it was a little bit cheaper, but the, the bigger, thicker pie, I think it was actually cheaper per unit. And so I got that one because it looks like it's got a lot of chocolate per pie. And that's why I buy that. French silk pie. There you go. Must have whipping cream on it, too. Yeah, that whipping cream. That'll whip me. Bathroom jokes. Yeah, good old bathroom jokes. Do they ever... St I was wondering about... I was like, you know... Because it's, yeah. Anyway, Cam looks good to me. I appreciate that. I really appreciate the feedback. I appreciate all of you. You are all so fantastic. We did the why I buy that. We did the joke scene. I am so cold on chess. I have not played chess in so long. I need to play more chess, but I just haven't had, well, you've seen how often I've been live lately. Although, I am going to do two things. <coughs> And I'm not sure where it is. There it is. Found it. Let's look at it under the microscope since I still got the microscope up before I let you go. Let you go. We finally came up with a plan for this piece of amethyst. That's right. Could make it a trillion shaped piece, but there's actually some lines in it. And since it looks flat here, it's not. Yeah. That would not make for a very good table. There might be a way to do it, but it's it's not looking too friendly. I mean, it looks like a nice even piece, but there's some lines in it and some clarity problems over here. So I asked Chicha, Chicha B, I was like, all right, should I leave the stripe or should I remove the stripe? She said, leave the stripe. So we're leaving the stripe. And I'm thinking... I can get it finished we're gonna make this one the feature next week which is pretty rare that I show one under the microscope and then it actually turns out to be the feature but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna progress that opal that chocolate opal so we'll see a little bit more about that next week and uh, every week around the 9 p.m. Eastern time you all are so fantastic. I'm so glad you were able to come by. I don't want to end the show because I love you all so much. And I'm like, when am I going to get to see you again? Actually, I'm going to go live over on the YouTube Administrator channel probably in a little bit. But I might not go live on this channel next week. I don't know. I don't have a gem ready. I need to get at least... Oh, one more thing before I go got this big piece of chalcedony it's kind of like blue rose quartz yeah that's going to be exciting there's all kinds of problems so we're going to take it apart and get into it and we're going to do that next week and every week 
around 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try for next week. I really am. I love you guys so much. It's so great to see you. I can't wait till next week.